Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, back at the end of May this year, I let you know that if you are using sticky notes, that the new sticky notes with OneNote integration had become available to all Windows users. And I'll leave uh, that video linked down below in the end screen because I don't want to rehash everything I spoke about regarding the new features and all of that. Um, not the point of today's video. So go check that out if you want more info. Now, as you can see um, in OneNote, if we head up to the top right as a quick recap, you can launch sticky notes um, from within OneNote. And then up until recently, you could pin that uh, to your taskbar to use directly from your taskbar. Now, just to let you know that with a recent update a day or so ago in my region uh, to the OneNote app on Windows 10 and Windows 11, uh, the good news is now um, you are now able to access the new Sticky Notes app from the All Apps list in the Start menu. And this applies to both uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11, where previously you could only pin it to your taskbar, which means now you can also pin to start as a quick shortcut um, on your start menu and then you obviously you can launch that directly from your start menu which I'm actually quite happy to see that Microsoft has rolled that capability out because I actually didn't like it pinned uh, to my taskbar and um, because obviously I want to use this as a standalone app and it was just cluttering up my taskbar because you couldn't access it anywhere else except for heading into OneNote which I didn't like to do and clicking on sticky notes. Now, in regards to the new sticky notes, um, apparently the app hasn't been met with the best reviews since Microsoft started pushing it out um, as part of OneNote back in May of this year. And one of the reasons is if we have a look at the app, it's still in preview. So if we head into the all apps list, you can see it still says preview. So in effect, it's still a beta release. So it's not a complete stable version. So Microsoft wanted to push that out um, before it actually is a stable version. So that's um, one thing that apparently some users are not happy about. And something I don't like about the new sticky notes, and um, I must agree on this point, is that I don't like it part of OneNote. I wish they'd have rolled it out as its own um, standalone app like the old sticky notes so basically um, if you if you download one note you get the new sticky notes if you if you want it or not basically so you have no option it's part of the one note which I think I would have preferred it to be standalone and the only way you can get rid of sticky notes is you have to uninstall one note so you have to uninstall one note and maybe you're using OneNote and not Sticky Notes and you don't want the new Sticky Notes and then you'll have to uninstall OneNote so you get the idea. So it's a little bit um, complicated when it comes to that setup. And something else I've noticed uh, is that I found when you launch the app, uh, it is a little bit slower than the old Sticky Notes. And on that note, if you are not liking the new OneNote integration, maybe you don't use OneNote and you don't want access to the new sticky notes, then you can uninstall OneNote and then you can head over to the Microsoft Store and the old or classic um, sticky notes, whatever you want to call it, um, is still available for download from the Microsoft Store, which I actually think is a better app. Um, when the new sticky notes uh, rolled out, I kind of was in favor of this because it did bring a bit of extra functionality, which we spoke about in that previous video. But I must be honest, I'm leaning more towards the basic functionality that the the original sticky notes brought to the table on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I think Microsoft is overcomplicating a basic app that should, should, should just stay with its basic functionality, which basically was the benefit of the uh, original sticky notes. So um, I hope Microsoft doesn't overclutter the new one. And if it wasn't for this channel, I would actually uninstall OneNote with that sticky notes integration because I don't use OneNote and I would just download and install the original or old sticky notes. But nonetheless, um, over and above all that kind of negative review, um, I still feel though now that 
um, this is a nice move, as I would say, in the right direction by giving us the option now to be able to access that from the All Apps list and pin that to our Start menu. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.